Welcome back artists. Today we are going to work on some value scales and before we add value to our elements project we are going to practice just on this paper. There's three different options. You have the gradient where you are just working to be very smooth. Cross hatching where you are using actual lines that you cross and then dappling or stippling is where you do dots. For all of these, the very highlight is where you leave things white. The most important thing I think when you do value is that you leave areas white and then you get areas that are as dark as possible. So for this first one, it's quite easy. I just press as hard as I can with my pencil and I color it in nice and dark. There's often a misunderstanding with value where it's not just coloring it all the same color. When we do the value scale, we are doing it all the same color in the boxes, but when we do it on our paper, we want to have a smooth transition. All right, so this is the darkest that I can get. Then I like to start with the light. So did you notice how I was holding my pencil really close to the tip so I could use a lot of my finger strength to press hard. When I do lighter, I grip my pencil further back because then just the weight of the pencil is what can be making the color. And I like to just do the whole thing with the lightest pressure. So we're starting all at the same page. And because this is a practice, I am not too concerned that I'm going outside of my lines. So I'm just gonna go all the way down with the lightest pressure. Now my job is to go back to this one and I can press down a little bit harder or I can just go over it one more time. But you wanna make sure that you can see a difference. Okay, so obviously white, this is a little bit lighter. This one's a little bit darker now. And I can just continue this all the way and just layer upon layer upon layer. The trick, another trick though, is to make sure that we're a little bit closer here when we get to the end. So I have three done, now I'm gonna go back and go here again. But I wanna make sure that there's enough of a difference that you can see it. So now I'm pressing a little bit harder but I still have my pencil kind of far back on my hand. Maybe I move it up a little bit closer now because I want to even go a little bit darker. And now maybe even a little bit darker. I want to make sure that I can see that change. And I also want to try to be consistent with my color throughout the space. Now I'm down to two more spots. I'm going to press a little bit harder to make sure I can see a change here. And then the final one. Not quite as dark as possible, but pretty close. Now I'm having a little bit of a trouble between these two. So one, another thing you can do is you can take away, you can remove value with an eraser. As I'm not as happy as I would like to be with these two, I'm going to just very gently take a little bit of this off. I might need to do that here as well. Oops, that's too much. Okay, see how that's way too light now? But I can go back in and add some more on top. So I'm just gonna work until I can see the difference in the different values. So that's the gradient where you're trying to do it smoothly. A crosshatch is where you are doing lines. Essentially with a crosshatch in this layer, you're gonna do one layer of lines. Then I can repeat this here. 
I could actually go all the way through, right? But for this second layer, I'm adding another line. So this has two lines. This one would have three lines. I can also get my lines closer together as I go. And I could go this way. This technique works really well with pen because you can't really do the soft blending like we have that we can with a pencil. So now I have all four directions. So now I'm just going to be repeating them. So I would do it more than once. So one, two, three. Four. So we have one, two, three, four. Now I need five on this one. So maybe I'll do this one again. Five. Now I need six, seven, and eight. And I can just continue with that all the way down, every time getting darker. Dappling is this similar to this, except for you're doing dots. This I would encourage you if you are um, doing a lot of this to put it on a notebook or something because you will be driving everyone at your table crazy if all you're doing is dotting. This is another technique that is good with pen. I'm just trying to get enough so that you can tell there's a difference. This one can take quite a while. So the whole point of this assignment, this practice, is to let you try out the techniques so you can see the ones that you like the best and that you want to use. All right, so I have three. I'm not quite finished here, but I think, I feel like I have a good enough idea of which one I like. I would either go with the crosshatch or this one. I'm definitely not gonna do the dappling because it takes too long. Once you are finished with this sheet, though, you want to take a picture of it and add it to Google Classroom so that you can get credit for this practice.